Hank Lundy here, um, junior welterweight contender. I know uh, you, you feeling real hyped up about the possibility of facing Kareem Mayfield. It's not official, but how bad do you want that fight? Uh, man, you know, I want that, that, that fight real bad. You know, he's been talking a lot of, you know what I mean, trash. You know what I mean, you know. That's what we do in this boxing game, but, you know, I'm ready to show the world that Cameron Hank is one of the top ten fighters in the world. I'm ready to show him again. Like, you know, I fought a Jose. He was 30. We had 31 wins, one loss. You know, top ten, um, top ten guy. And I, I, I proved to the world and showed everybody that Cameron Hank belongs in the, in the world. Now, when you say Kareem Mayfield's been talking trash, has he been talking trash to you or just in general? He's been, what, what do you mean by that? Well, you, you, you know, you know, he, he said, uh, I'm an ESPN fighter, you know, I ain't got no chin, you know, yes, I mean, um, you know, um, HBO ain't put you on, you know, I, I put it like this, you know, my whole career, I've been self-made, you know, mm -hmm. ain't nobody, you know, and, and Philadelphia, we got Bernard Hopkins, you know, we got some big people, you know, there, but out of all through, through all that, my name was self-made. I went with a small-time promoter, and I made it big. And everything about Hammer and Hank is real. There's no hype, you know? Ain't nothing fake about me. Everything is real. So like I told him, when you get in that ring, he gonna see how real it is with me. Okay. Now, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on Kareem Mayfield. Like, how do you assess him as a fighter, and how would you beat him? Oh, uh, see, Kareem Mayfield, you know, at the end of the day, he ain't even fought nobody. You know, he's not even rated in the top 10, not even in the top 20. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I was in the top 10, but due to, you know, me with the inactivity, you know, I dropped, I was in, I was top 10 at um, 140, you know, but I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm number 12 right now, you know, uh. not too far away. You know, I'm number four in the USA, and I'm rated all across the board, the WBC, WBO, IBF, I'm rated all across the board, you know. And to me, with him, he hasn't fought nobody yet. Every time I've seen him on TV and I'm fighting, you know, he's getting tired. You know, throw wild punches. He had one, one, um, you know, fight on ESPN where he knocked a, um, a Philly guy out, you know, Raymond Serrano, mm -hmm. you know. Who, you know, and, and then that fight, you know, he just got a little bit big-headed, you know. Like, it was a good fight, you know, he did what he had to do, but at the end of the day, you got to crawl before you walk. And this fight right here was definitely humble and showing that, you know, there's a lot more you got to learn in this game. First of all, you can't get tired. And that's what he do, he get tired. <laughs> okay. Now, you've been in training camp Colorado Springs, I believe, with like Adrian Broner, Robert Easter Jr., and other guys. Is that right? Yes, sir. You know, one thing about Hammer and Hank, you know, like I tell these guys, they think I be playing when I post that stuff. Think it's a fluke. I never have to get ready because I'm always ready. I'm always in shape. That's what I live to do. And I've been in camp with the homies, you know, putting in work. We going hard, you know. How? Putting in work. Let's go time. Are Are you working? I saw you working with Easter. Are you working with Broner too, or who, who are the guys you're working with out there? Yeah, well the, well, the main guy was, um, you know, it, it, it's Adrian, you know. Okay. You know, and, um, you know, finishing up, you know, with Robert, you know. And we, we all put in that work, you know. Cool, man. Um, how much does it help you kind of, like, changing up training camps? Is it good for you to kind of get in a different environment and kind of push yourself around other talented guys like that? Well, you know, it's like we all bring the best out of each other. You know, we all have special talents and we all good at what we do. So, you know, when we come in the gym, we all, we, we let get around with each other, you know, even talk trash. But at the end of the day, you know, when we get in that ring, we all think and try to, you know what I mean, how to outthink each other to, to do better than each other. And, you know, and go out there in our own, you know, in our own ways and put on a good show in our own fight. You know, we all helping each other out and we, we, we are business up here. Oh.